Well, I always wish to believe the Prime Minister. He said that he knew nothing about these parties and didn't go to them. I think very important and very relieved to hear that. As far as I know, no MP or, or MP minister went to any of these parties. It was sort of something undertaken by officials. And that's why the right approach is to get to the bottom of it with a proper independent inquiry led by their boss, the cabinet secretary. And if we find out that there were parties that broke the rules, then the people must face disciplinary action. And I trust we'll see some people removed, because I think they've probably got too many people in number 10. Uh, clearly, the prime minister doesn't know what they're all doing. Presumably, you don't think that the person who the buck should stop with is the prime minister. I mean, some suggestions that this might be the beginning of the end for him, that in fact, Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss, the, the chancellor and the foreign secretary, are beginning to uh, muster some support behind the scenes in a potential uh, leadership bid. No, I don't buy that. I don't think the parliamentary party is in the mood to send in letters and run leadership campaigns. And I, I saw a story in the press yesterday, I think, um, I don't know whether it's true, saying that there, there was an illicit party at the Treasury as well. So on your theory that the ultimate boss has to take the hit, that would affect the Chancellor just as much as the Prime Minister.